It's my birthday. I'm going to apologize in advance for how chaotic this vlog is about to be, but I figured I need to vlog my 19th birthday weekend. I'm about to go pick up my birthday drink from Starbucks and then I'll kind of explain what's happening this weekend, but I am so excited and I'm so excited to be bringing you guys with me. What the actual heck? I totally forgot I had my camera with me and didn't record any of that. I got coffee, but on my way to get Starbucks, I didn't even get a coffee on my way to get starbucks my mom was pulling up the street she was like oh my gosh you're leaving earlier and i was like no i'm just getting starbucks she got me a coffee and she got me a piece of like i don't know what this is some sort of bread but i had already placed my order so i got a matcha lemonade and then i went and i got gas i think i'm kind of tweaking out like i thought i had enough time and now my friends are literally almost here and i still don't have anything ready but basically that's really good i've never had a matcha lemonade but i, I don't know i just wanted to get one my friends that go to school like two hours away are driving up to me right now and then i'm driving all of us to minnesota to meet up with our other friends there's like a whole group of girls from the college that like my high school friends go to that are coming to minnesota and then it's like my high school friends and it's gonna be so much fun also my friend eliza who went to new york with me if you guys watched that vlog she goes to school in georgia and she actually flew in yesterday and she's gonna surprise all the other girls and she's also like surprising her boyfriend because her boyfriend's coming to minnesota this weekend so it's gonna be super fun eliza's gonna get to my house in a couple of minutes and then the other girls are gonna pull up and then eliza's gonna surprise them and then we're gonna surprise ben and her boyfriend later. I'm starting to tweak out a little bit. Um, I'm feeling flustered. I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling not ready. So I'm gonna go make sure I have everything ready. My mom is at my dad's house right now. I think she just wants to see me. So I'm gonna go like hang out with her. I need to clear out the back seat. I have like pillows and blankets from a camping trip that I took last summer in July. <laughs> so I should probably get rid of those. All right, guys, Eliza stuff is in here. We're getting the car all packed. The other girls are like 10 minutes away. And what I'm gonna have Eliza do is like stay in my house and I'm gonna have like the other girls come and like start packing up their stuff into the car. And then like when I think that they're like almost done, like getting all their stuff in the car, I'm gonna text her to come out. And then she's gonna surprise them and be like, hey guys, I'm ready to go. I'm like nervous. I'm like, oh my God, what if this doesn't work? <laughs> I didn't mean to get romantic out here, but Rose no, is really? all I had. So cute. <laughs> and, oh. guys, Bailey's embarrassing and is a hot Cheeto girl. I literally am. I don't know what to tell. I don't know. Where are you? Right here. Oh. Nah, this is so funny. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, oh my god. 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 Oh my so I feel like you can pretty much tell what's happening, but also I feel like I need to come and explain a little. I don't know why we put Eliza's stuff in the car before the other girls got there because Elise immediately asked me, she was like, why do you have all of your stuff in the front seat? But it was all just Eliza's and like Eliza had claimed shotgun. So Elise asked me, she's like, can I sit in the front? Like, why did you put all your stuff there? And that's when I immediately start acting so weird. And I started panicking because I was like, I don't know, like, what am I supposed to say? Like, why would I put all my stuff in the front seat? So that part really got me. And then Elise started catching on to how weird I was acting. Sorry, um, we can move it when we get Ella. I just, I <laughs> Why are you like manic right now? I'm sorry. <laughs> Elise saying that literally threw me off so much that I just like didn't even get the initial reaction of her seeing Eliza. I texted Eliza to come out because we were just by the car packing up and then all of a sudden Elise was like, I need to pee. And she just like started sprinting inside. And then Eliza was coming out of the door at the same time. <laughs> We got to Elise's sister's house. This is where we're staying. I started doing my makeup in the car and it actually looks horrible. Like none of this is blended. So I need to fix that up. Everybody's kind of getting ready and then we're going to our friend's dorm and I don't really know what's happening after that. What the heck? Why does it look like that? Uh, <laughs> kitty. Oh shit. 
Wait, why is it tracking me? I don't subscribe to the channel, you guys. No, 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 no. So this is your guys. I am struggling quite a bit right now. No, she's not. Yeah, no, she's good. This is the only. So this is the state of the room right now. No, this is super. This is amazing. No, Bailey's killing it. I don't even remember. This is good footage. Birthday girl is down. Bad. Anyone got Tums? Who's got Tums? Oh, it's Finn! <laughs> sure you guys can tell already by this point that I have like my little weird handheld gimbal camera instead of my normal vlog camera. So that's why the quality and the audio is just like not as good as my usual videos. But the trade-off is good because if I have the little camera, I get a lot more footage than if I have my big camera because first of all, I don't want to carry that around with me. It doesn't fit in a purse unless it's a big purse and it's just like bulky. I don't want to bring it to the bars. I don't want to bring it to darties i don't want to bring it to dinner so me having my little camera even though i barely know how to use it and it literally is just like the weirdest contraption it amuses everyone it still amuses me me having that camera ensures that i vlog more than if i had my other camera it's just how it works oh, you gotta tell me. we ordered food our other friends are about to get here and eliza's about to surprise them and i'm so excited it's like eliza's like best friend like lifelong best friend it's gonna be way better than her boyfriend's reaction i'll tell you that I cannot believe I'm posting these clips on the internet. These might be the worst clips of me that you can find on YouTube. So embarrassing, but I feel like it's a big part of the night and I have to include it. Like I can't just pretend that I wasn't embarrassing. And the fact that I was vlogging and I got so much footage of the night, which is like not normal to do. Most people are not recording themselves on their 19th birthday. This is like video documentation of how embarrassing I am. I think every single one of my friends bought me a drink this night and some of them bought me multiple drinks and I was absolutely out the door. Like I, I don't even think I walked into the door. Also, do not encourage underage drinking. It is very bad. One debt to society later. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have to get ready. Because I'm shaking. I'm shaking in my boots right now. Happy birthday to me. Bailey, I have to stress for you. Oh no. Say happy birthday to Bailey. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You're just saying happy birthday to me. <laughs> this is our breakfast. What is happening? I don't yeah. want to work this. Oh yeah. Cheers. Why do I look so red? the little house party we're at and we're headed to dinner.
I want to get chicken noodle soup. Bailey's birthday dinner, I'm getting chicken tenders. Everyone, I'm is high class. So excited. Hey guys, we just got our food. Actually, we didn't get our food. I got my appetizer, cheese curds. I got the weirdest combination. I got chicken noodle soup, I got lobster bisque and that, and then my cheese curds. It comes with Cheez-Its. That's so weird. Four of them, four <laughs> Cheez-Its. Four Cheez-Its. Four Cheez-Its. <laughs> Yay, happy birthday, Bailey. Aww. Girlfriend. It's 11 p.m. All my friends went out at like eight. I feel like shit. <sighs> I don't know what this is. I literally feel like I have food poisoning and I cannot shake this like ugh feeling. I just took like a two hour nap and I don't really feel any better. So I don't know what to do. Everybody's texting me, telling me to come out. But at this point it's already 11. I'm like not ready. I just don't think it's worth it. Live, love, laugh. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I know it ended on a terrible note. I wanted to kind of explain how, you know, things were going and how things continued to go. So if you haven't picked up on it, basically, Saturday morning I woke up and I kind of just thought I was like very you know sick from the night before like I was feeling all of the um birthday presents that people were buying me so before the darty we went to we got food I put a liquid IV in the Starbucks water that I got I was just trying to kind of like make myself feel better and my stomach ache did not go away like it just didn't go away all day I was hanging on by a thread literally all day like I was just miserable but I was trying not to be like a Debbie Downer and I was also trying to have fun because it was my birthday week Weekend and I should be having fun with all my friends, but I just felt terrible. Friday night before we went out, I was like laying on the floor. I thought that I was just like bloated and stuff, but I had the same stomach ache. So I think something I ate Friday, specifically the Subway pizza, just like threw me off. I don't know if it was like food poisoning because I wasn't like throwing up and like, but I definitely had some sort of stomach bug because it was not a hangover. Hangovers don't last five days. My stomach continued to hurt for like three days after I came home. And I actually took myself to the ER on, I think, Sunday night because I was so scared that my pancreatitis was coming back. It was sort of the same initial feeling that I had like when I was first starting to get my symptoms. And I wouldn't have gone to the ER if I wasn't about to go to Puerto Rico the next day, but I just had to go to the ER and get blood work done so that like I knew I was good to go. But everything was fine at the ER. I just had some sort of little stomach bug and it actually went away like on my way to Puerto Rico. So I felt pretty good the entire time I was there. So yeah, the vlog kind of ended on a terrible note and I don't know if you guys can tell, like look at how I looked on Saturday. I do not look healthy. It doesn't look like I'm just like, I look sick. And we took a bunch of pictures and stuff at the Darty and like all my friends were posting them and I was literally like repulsed at the pictures they were posting of me. I just looked like I had no life behind my eyes. I looked so pale and just like, ugh. I can still say that my birthday was successful even though I got very sick and like couldn't even go out with my friends on Saturday, which was so sad. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it's so different than my normal videos. I just thought that it would be fun to share this. And more importantly, I feel like my YouTube channel is like a, I don't know, it's like a documentation of my entire life. And I know that someday I'm gonna wanna look back on my 19th birthday. So might as well just upload it. I think it was a fun video, even though it was chaotic and really just like all over the place. But I hope you enjoyed. I love you and I will see you next Sunday. Bye-bye.